Good morning, friends. Uh, today I have uh, one of my guests here uh, in this resort, and uh, the guest is none other than Tonmay Modok, who is a director and uh, film director, and also he is associated with a YouTube channel, and he has been doing a lot of vlogs and everything. So uh, before we go ahead and uh, we start this interview. Uh, let me thank you once again, uh, Tonmay, for coming here. However, I would like to apologize because uh, we will have some disturbance outside. We do some work is going on, and this is uh, this resort is uh, just beside the river, so where this this kind of noise will come. So I really I, I'm so sorry for this. So I hope that uh, you will not mind. So let's start. So Tonmay, my first question for you will be, uh, what inspires you? I mean, where from? You got this inspiration to make a film. Thank you, Shantanu, for inviting me. And uh, let's come to the point. As for film, I would like to say Satyajit Ray. And uh, as for vlogging, I would say Mumbai Kandi. Okay. So, uh, Tonmay, my next question will be that as you said, that uh, if you're talking about films, then that would be the great Satyajit Ray who actually inspired you. So, uh, what are those films or uh, what exactly uh, you uh, got inspired from him? I mean, what exactly motivated you towards the films about, about Satyajit Ray, if you can uh, describe this thing? See, Shantanu, when I was in class uh, 4 or 5, I saw Nayak. Satyajit Ray's Nayak, um, the hero was Uttam Kumar. And uh, when I was watching this film, I, it was boring. It was boring for me then. But till now, Nayak is the best movie I ever saw. And Nayak inspired me a lot. The whole story goes on a train and ends on a train, and which is remarkable. Shatijidra was a great writer also. His everything inspired me. Uh, thank you. And uh, my next question uh, for you, uh, Tonmay, would be, uh, so apart from films, you said that if, uh, if you're talking about the vlogging, then you would pick Mumbai Kanikul as your inspiration. So now let's come to the vlogging part. So what uh, in Mumbai Kanikul uh, inspires you actually, if you can uh, describe this? See Shantan, uh, vlogging in India is not so easy. But Mumbai Kanikul is doing that. In foreign, uh, is in Estate, Logan Paul is doing that from a very long time. But uh, Mumbai Kanikul, when I first saw Mumbai Kanikul in YouTube fan fest, it inspired me a lot. I saw his vlogs from uh, from morning 5 to 12. So it inspired me a lot and after watching his vlog, I went to vlogging and my first vlogging was, uh, I think uh, it was uh, Journey to the Broken Bridge. My first vlogging after watching his vlogs. That inspired me a lot and I started vlogging from that day when I saw him first. Okay, uh, now let's uh, come back to uh, your work which you have done till now. Now, uh, the, the next question that uh, I have for you is, so uh, what I saw about you that you started your uh, career with some music videos if you remember. So uh, before you come to movies, you came into movies actually, so you did few of those music videos, right? So, I mean, what went into your mind at that time that you started with music videos and then you slowly came into films, if you can describe this. When I was in class 8, I wrote my first poem and uh, I converted it into music. And one of my friend Polash helped me by giving it music and uh, it made a, I, we made a song. Went to my friends and, and make them listen to that song, but they said that you are wasting your time. Uh, that time I was a little bit hurt, but from then, I don't know uh, how I started that thing. After that I made Mahia and Mahia was, the people loved it. That inspired me and after that I made uh, Happy Birthday Amar Prithibi. I made Doshta Pashta Jibone Amai. That's how I made those songs and uh, after that, after making those music videos, I started making film. It was Mithai. No, 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 it was not Mithai, it was Halubasha Abhigna Nirvacho, Easy Love, Affection or Selection. And I made another film, which was Mithai. And uh, you were a great part of the film. And uh, people loved it. And after that, I made 
gone up that bridge, and right now process is continuing. Uh, I, first of all, I would uh, like to thank you for that uh, opportunity that you gave me. Uh, but uh, before we come to this uh, mitai, so once again, uh, let me come back to the movies that you started. So the first film, if I'm not wrong, the first movie, uh, better to say, it it, it it was not a full-fledged film. It was kind of a documentary kind of film that you started, which was Halaba uh, Shabegna Nirbachan, which is uh, is love, affection, or selection, right? So uh, my question is, uh, I watched this film, right? I, I watched this film uh, on YouTube, and also I would like to suggest the friends uh, to watch this. Uh, because see, this, this film might not be that much entertaining, but yes, you will understand something that you will feel that a lot of uh, hard work, hard work were there behind this, this making of this movie. Now, that is my question, that how much hurdle, how much tough was it when you first came behind the camera? So if you can just describe this. Shantana, you made me remember old days. Uh, I uh, hard it was a lot. When I first started Islam Perfection Selection, I was like guinea pig. I treat myself as like guinea pig because I was writing and I was also acting. But uh, I completed that movie. But after completing that, I faced a lot of problem when I was doing Mithai. Uh, first day, when we went to shooting to that place uh, named Makoshapukur, people were sitting over there, I said to them, please go somewhere else and do your stuff. But they said, we are not going anywhere, go from here and you do your shooting somewhere else. So that kind of problem I faced a lot. Uh, when I was doing Mithai and when I was doing Ganap Garbage, I faced a lot of problems and a lot of hurdles. But after um, overcoming them, I made those films. And I, I, you know what, uh, when you are making film, when you are making good stuff, you will face a lot of problems but you have to overcome it and after overcoming it we will get the result, we will get the best result. I remember uh, while you were making this film Mithai because I was uh, also a part of it fortunately uh, thanks to you. Uh, however, I would like to come back to this topic once again uh, to this uh, film Mithai. So my question would be uh, first question about this film Mithai is uh, I came to know that somehow this film was related to some kind of real life incident or something. So, is that true? Uh, if you can uh, let us know about it. See, Shantanu, stories come from inspiration, and uh, Mithai was, a, you could say it, it was uh, based on a real life event. And uh, a few years back, a, a girl came to our house. She came from Bangladesh. And uh, I saw her and I talked to her and she had a lots of problem over there. I don't know about the diplomatical problem, I don't know about the political problem, but she said a lot of things about Bangladesh. I don't want to say it in front of camera. But uh, after she gone back to her country, I feel something that I should write, in, write something about her. I, if I put a character which was put in Mithai, Shubo, I should put a character in her life, it would be a great story that a girl came to came from Bangladesh to India and she had a relation with a boy she don't know before and they had a relation but one day she went back to her country without any information without giving him any clue so I wrote it and uh, you know the result and uh, second question on Mithai will be so now First of all, I personally uh, loved this film and uh, I would like to say all the people out there, all of our friends, if you watch Mithai, you will definitely like it. You will, you will be in love with it, that's for sure. Now, there's one very interesting thing in Mithai. If, if you watch this film, you will see one interesting thing. Every character in Mithai had some disease. Now, now that is so interesting. Now, I would like to ask you this question, Donovan, that how this idea came into your mind. I mean, this idea popped into your head just to make people laugh or 
was it inspired or was it taken from somewhere outside or something? So what, what I mean, how this thing happened? Uh, yeah, Sandhani, you are absolutely, you are 100% right. Mm. Uh, all characters are inspired from real life. Dulal is also inspired from a real life character and he had a disease like that. And, and Mitha had a paradise for it. Um, but I put disease on Shubo, but uh, it was not shown properly on the film. So it was my fault. They all had disease and I just wanted to make people laugh. Okay, now uh, my next question would be, uh, let's move on to your next film now. So after Mithai, uh, your next movie was uh, Gun of Garbage, if I'm not wrong. So now my question would be, what inspired you to make this kind of film, which was completely different from Mithai? Mithai was, uh, you know, a bubbly commercial kind of a film. Uh, which every audience would accept, would laugh, uh, would have fun. It had all kind of emotions. But Gun of Garbage, Gun of Garbage was kind of dark, was was kind of thriller, was kind of a bit of action oriented. So what inspired? And also, uh, it, it it was not so lengthy as well as Mithai. It had no songs. So suddenly, why you jumped from a film like Mithai to Gun of Garbage, so if you can explain. When Gun of Garbage was an idea, uh, it was like it was a short film. I tried to make it as a short film, but the story made its own path. And it demanded those characters to put in, in that film. Um, after completing Mithai, I decided I will make something different. I will make something dark. I will make something, there will be no music on it and I decided that I will not going to put any conversation on that movie, Gun of Garbage but I say I said that the story made his own path the storyline made those, want those, ask for those characters you can say I inspired from a Hollywood movie, Smoking SS after watching that movie, the idea of Gun of Garbage came into my mind okay, so uh, this Gun of Garbage was your last movie, right? So after that, still uh, we are waiting for uh, your new work to come so that we can watch. So if you can tell me for you any any new projects that you're working on, um, any kind of any more dark movies or entertaining movies or any kind of different kind of movies that uh, we are going to see very soon. Is there something in the in the in the in the list? If you can tell us. Yeah, there are lots of projects in the pipeline. And right now I'm working on a film, short film named uh, Stupid. And after that I will make. Uh, I'm trying to make a large film in you know, 2018, and which will be Adivasi. It was named Adivasi. So I'm not going to tell the proper information about the film when the trailer, when the information will come, you will know. So right now I'm working on a film named Stupid, and it will release on 14 February. Guys, watch it. Uh, so your next film will be stupid as you said that which would be released on YouTube on 14th February 2018 so guys uh, please uh, make a note uh, on this that Tonmay Modok's next venture next dictatorial venture stupid is going to be released worldwide on YouTube on 14th Feb 2018 stupid right so can you uh, give us a bit of gist uh, on, on what is the subject that uh, you are you know, portraying now in front of, of the camera or what is the subject you're dealing with this time? Before answering the question, I want to interrupt. Shantanu said that he will start interviewing after wearing his hat, but he forgot, then uh, I'm giving it. Thank you. Okay. So, the question was about stupid. Uh, after completing Ganav Garbage and Mithai, Stupid was also a challenging work for me because stupid starts and ends only in a room. Uh, I never went to any outdoor shooting. So I'm not going to say the uh, whole story. You guys will have to see it on YouTube on 14th February, our TM Golden Award Evolve Entertainment YouTube channel. So the story starts with a guy who doesn't have any hope, doesn't have any dream in his life. He's happy which he get 
he just want to spend his life with others help that's it i'm not going to say the whole story guys you have to watch it so uh, so as uh, you said tonmoy that uh, it's uh, the entire uh, movie was shot inside one room so so friends you people are also listening so it's a kind of an interesting subject for all of us that the entire movie uh, it starts and ends in one room itself and there is no outdoor shooting so uh, guys we we all are very thrilled right to watch this movie and it's coming on uh, 14th feb as you said and uh, mr director uh, tonmoy modok if i'm not wrong 14th feb is also your date of birth right your your birthday uh, yeah my voter id card shows that 14th feb is my birthday so yeah it's a important day for me and uh, i think uh, that day people give me gifts give me gifts and uh, i think that i should give people something that's why i made this film for everyone for you that's so uh, so grateful uh, from uh, tonmay modok and uh, we we really hope uh, a lot of uh, all the best for your this uh, upcoming stupid film that's the name of the movie yes stupid that's the name of the movie and it's coming on 14th feb which is also uh, the auspicious occasion of tonmay modok's birthday so we all uh, wish him best of luck and also we wish him best of luck for all his future endeavors for his future ventures that he is um, going to do and we hope that we will all enjoy so thank you so much once again tonmay for coming here uh, that will be pretty much all so we hope that some day once again we will meet up and uh, we will have more fun thank you so much guys thank you shantanu for inviting me on your show and guys i'm going to let you know that this uh, how the makers make first episode was a great fun and this show will be continuing and guys keep loving and keep supporting best of luck yeah